Hey, how are you? I am um, working on, sorry, I thought I heard a noise. Um, working on a lamb trim on Rocco, my favorite little boy here. Uh, remember Rocco, I did the top knot on him and the nails and the feet and all that. He's such a good boy. Um, so a lamb trim is basically a short body with the fuller legs. So they just kind of makes them look a little balanced where they don't look, they don't look like they're walking on toothpicks or stilts. Um, so I'm going to get right into it. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of time, so I'm just going to fly through. Um, I'm using a my Oster 3000 Eyes um, with an Oster 5F blade on his body and then we'll discuss some of the clip uh the lengths of the clip combs that i use to do um his legs uh but first when i'm clippering the body i'm gonna leave like up around the shoulder area i'm gonna leave some hair here and that's gonna give me some um give me some room to blend um the shoulder into the leg so um, when I'm starting, I'm just going to clip her long, even strokes. I'm going to take all the hair off of this body here. I'm going to leave the leg. Can you clip her down a little bit into the loin area? And clip her some of this off. And I'm starting from like the hip bone. I'm just kind of clippering off of that. I'm not. I'm not really clippering to the skin here. I'm clippering and kind of blending down. So I'm taking my clippers, going straight off of this little hip area. So now I'm going to take my clippers. And I'm just going to run it down and to this muscle here, I'm just going to take the hair off of the back of the leg. All right. Now I'm going to come up to the front and I don't want huge puffy shoulders. I want the shoulders to kind of blend into the legs. So I want to take and just clipper straight off of the, the shoulder like that. And I am kind of stretching the skin a little bit to kind of help me um, not dig into like the elbow area because they have that, you see like the muscle kind of comes in and then you got the elbow at the top of the leg. So I don't want to expose that. I kind of want this, this trim is supposed to blend, you know, the short is supposed to blend into the long. So... Just kind of clean up my lines here. Some crazy hair is popping out. All right. The key to blending legs are um, work. First, you establish the length that you want the legs to be, right? So I'm using my uh, trusted um, clip combs attachments. Um, I can't groom without them anymore. Uh, these are just going to help us. We're we're using these to help us set a length on their legs, right? So I, they're all uniform. They're all the same length all the way around the dog. So. I'm going to make sure I can get a comb through his leg. So I'm gonna brush him out real quick. And if you remember, um, Rocco and Luca were here five weeks ago. They get groomed every five weeks. So they know what to expect.
he, and sometimes they almost anticipate my next move. Just like that, kind of gave me a split. Like, oh, all right, I know you're gonna do this, so might as well just give it up. It's a beauty about grooming them on a regular basis. Number one, they're never, you know, batted or tangled. And number two, they know what to expect. Grooming doesn't become a stressful thing because it's a part of their life, just like drinking water or playing with, you know, their sibling or going for a walk. It's just something that they accept. So I've got my one and a quarter clip comb and I'm going to run them up and down both of his legs. The long strokes starting from the elbow, starting from inside, working all the way down to the end of their leg. And once I get that length taken off, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go up the leg. Now I'm going to go back down the leg again. And you want to make sure their hair is not tangled or the, your attachment won't go through it. The, um, another thing, they need to be good and clean too. So So now that I got his length set, that's what how this is how long his leg's gonna be. I'm gonna work onto the back leg. Get him position. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start at the hip and work my way all the way down to his toes. I'm going to go up the leg. I'm going to start around his feet first. He takes a long, smooth stroke. And by doing this, this will take place with some of your scissor work. Not digging into the skin. I'm letting. I'm just letting the blade glide over top of it of the leg. All right. So that sets my length. So now I work into. Um, I'm 
Now I want to work into blending this stuff here into the longer part of the legs. And by do and doing that, I'm going to just step down two notches on my clip combs. So I had a one and a quarter here. I'm going to use a seven eight, and I'm just going to start from here and blend off like down into the leg here and also here. For this back leg, you can literally kind of bring your blade down and kind of clipper uh, this all to kind of blend it in. So, and I'll kind of show you how to do that. But I'm gonna start off with, again, this is my seven eighths. And I'm just gonna work in my way down to the, to like a three quarter. And by doing this, your blending is going to be so much easier to do, and it's going to look so much nicer. I know it's an extra steps and stuff like that, but it'll save you in the long run. So now that I've got just, this is just kind of going over those lines up here, my clipper lines. And this is where his shoulder is. So now I'm gonna drop down two more sizes, which this will take us to a five or a seven eight. Five eight. Sorry. Um where is it? This is the half. I guess I'll go down to the half inch. <laughs> um isn't live, but you know, I don't like to stop and not good at editing. So I'm going down to a half inch now. And what that's just going to blend just a little bit more. And what I mean by kind of going down the leg, like this muscle here, I'm just taking and running off the side. All right. Now I'm going to go down to my 5 8 blade. The 5 8 is just the next step up from a 4. And I'm just going to blend that in just a little bit more. You see, I'm not spending a whole lot of time blending. My ultimate goal is to try to save me from having to do a whole bunch of scissoring, um, trying to blend it in with my scissors. Um, so now that I've got that, I'm going to go back to my 5F. And I'm just gonna kinda make sure it's good and blended from that. And you see I'm not spending a whole lot of time with it. All right, so that's how I blend the um, legs to do a lamb trim. So now I'm just gonna go through, comb them up and tweak them up just a little bit. There might be some crazy hairs poking, poking out. Um, so I'm gonna fix those and move on to the other side and he'll be good to go here in about 30 minutes. Thanks.